So Elton John and Ed Sheeran have a new Christmas song out. It's called Merry Christmas Everyone and I really like it. What do you think to it, Santa? It's outrageous. Oh, come on, Santa. It's not that bad, is it? Who's wearing a dress? It's 2021 now, Santa. People can wear what they like. It's my wife's dress. Ah, yeah. Maybe have a word with Ed about that. But back to the song. This song can be played with five simple chords, standard tuning, no capo needed. We have a C major chord, and this song is in the key of C major. A minor. Either an F bar chord, or even better, an F played like this, with a mini bar. If you can't do uh, any barring at all, you can go for the easier F major 7, that is absolutely fine. And then a G major, played however you like. I'd recommend this G major chord, played with fingers 2, 3 and 4 because it's simple to change back to the C major chord, but you go for which option works for you. That chord progression is used a lot, and this song uses all the classic Christmas song tropes. And having written a Christmas song myself, which you can hear in my previous video upload, which I uploaded yesterday, it is not easy to write these Christmas tropes, and I do genuinely think this is a good one. However, the chord progression, I was like, hang on, that's something. And the melody as well, I'm like, we've heard that before in an Elton John song. Is it not a little bit similar to Don't go breaking my heart I won't go breaking your heart The chords and melody are pretty similar to that. So if you do like this song, check out Don't Go Breaking My Heart, one of Elton John's older songs. But in general for this song, as a simple way to play it, we can play a whole bar of each of these chords with the following strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we can do one, two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and. Which would be a great way to play through any of the verses. So kiss me under the mistletoe. Pour out the wine, let's toast and pray for December snow. I know there's been pain this year, but it's time to let it go. Next year you never know, but for now, Merry Christmas. There are some embellishments we can add to that, which I'll show you a little later on in this video. But the chorus of this, if we just play the simple version, F major 7 for a bar, G major, C major, A minor. Second line of the chorus, exactly the same, but E7 in place of the C. And I'm finishing F and G. And you can play along to all of this song just by playing those simple chords throughout. And I highly recommend that you try doing that first before you add any more embellishments. If you're learning guitar and want to be able to strum along to these songs, that's the level you need to get up first. Play a bar per chord to a song like this, along to the recording, join in, keep in time, and work on those kind of things. Once you've done that, we can look at some of the embellishments, which we'll cover a little bit with the very first couple of lines of this song, which are a little bit different. Build the fire and gather round the tree Fill the glass and maybe come and sing with me So that was C E7, A minor, F, E minor, D minor, G7, then C. Embellishment, that final G7 chord can be played as a G7 flat 9. Really cool chord, you can tell that was something that Elton John came up with on the piano because it's very classy. In context. embellishment for those of you that are higher level. We can add similar things in the verses as well with these kind of passing chords between those main chords that we learnt before. So with the embellishments So 
that was C, G slash B, which in this context I just play like this, middle finger and little finger only, or middle finger and third finger, A minor as we did before, stepping from A, G, F, and then as the passing chord after the F, just lift off your middle finger, and we're playing an F sus2, which is the real advantage to doing either this F or this F. It's always the middle finger that comes off, which we can't do with a bar chord, because it would be a different chord. It would be the F minor. So great tip for you there. Improving on acoustic guitar or guitar in general is not all about learning bar chords and being able to play bar chords perfectly. At least not the full barring all six strings with the first finger. It's actually really cool to try and learn this way of playing full bar chords. And getting those to ring out because we can still lift off fingers and add embellishments. Same strumming pattern. But we just have this little push where we change a little bit earlier. One and two and three and four and one. That's how to play Merry Christmas everyone, I'll leave more help in the description of this video below with some helpful lessons, more Christmas song tutorials, and I've also gone ahead and actually written a Christmas song myself this year which I'll leave on the screen now and a bit of info about how I wrote it. Hope you check that one out guys and I will see you next time. It's my wife's dress!